Hi all, good morning, uh, afternoon, evening, uh, wherever you may be. My name is Greg Waters and I am from the Sustainability Accounting Standards Board, most often known as SASB. So th thanks so much to Access Now for, for allowing me a few minutes to speak here and plug uh, an important research project that's ongoing uh, at SASB. So we are an independent nonprofit standard setting organization and we're dedicated to facilitating the disclosure of financially impactful environmental and social issues from companies to their investors. Uh, we exist because we believe that capital markets are a critical lever for, for achieving a more sustainable and just future. Our standards are industry-specific and designed to capture a subset of information, uh, sustainability information, that is most likely to impact financial performance of companies. And we are actively backed by a group of investors with around $60 trillion in assets under management. And uh, we are being, our standards are being used to report by about 500 different companies uh, across 70 different industries, uh, and that growth is about 350% year on year. So we're really excited by the momentum we've achieved uh, as an organization in driving for more comparable and complete sustainability disclosure. Um, this, this audience understands why transparency around things like data privacy and content governance are, are really important societally. Um, but there's also this financial impact angle, and, and that's why SASB has gotten involved. So I thought I'd spend a, a moment or two uh, speaking to that. So uh, the first line item, I would say, is, is on the revenue side. And I think if we think about content governance as what users see on, on a given platform and when, uh, that really is critical to uh, you know, a company's business strategy, how they attract and retain not just users, but also uh, advertisers. And, and that balance of, um, you know, monitoring for harmful content uh, while, while protecting user freedom of expression. Uh, we see different uh, approaches and strategies taken by different platforms depending on the design of, of their platform. Uh, from the cost perspective, uh, of course, we now know that thousands, if not tens of thousands of people at, at various companies are, are, are reviewing content. Uh, and uh, that, that obviously is a significant form of investment. Uh, the other would be the capital expenditure associated with automated flagging systems using techniques like machine learning. And the last thing I would mention on the financial side would be the regulatory piece uh, in that we, we know that the U.S. and, uh, and the European Commission, as well as the Digital Services Act, um, are, are mulling proposed changes that would severely uh, potentially impact uh, how companies not just moderate, but also kind of, you know, really show content to users. So uh, major implications there in terms of if you're thinking of this with an investor lens in terms of risk return profile, um, you know, how might a different company's um, platform be impacted by different regulations is cl clear clearly of interest. So in terms of uh, transparency reporting, um, obviously they're, they're critical for accountability to a, a broad variety of stakeholders, but also the metrics that have been developed and are being used by a number of companies uh, on areas like content moderation are also uh, of interest to investors. So SASB standards actually already use a number of transparency reporting metrics. Uh, these include uh, information about law enforcement, uh, data sharing, as well as uh, content removal requests from governments. Um, the next piece for SASB is we are now evaluating uh, p potential changes to our standards to include voluntary content moderation and, and content governance themes. So really, really eager to, uh, to hear from companies and subject matter experts, uh, such as the people uh, on the panel that's about to come up here. Uh, we, are, we are open, we're a, a market informed and, and consensus and stakeholder driven organization uh, in terms of understanding what are the most important uh, issues and, and the best ways to be capturing uh, the, the, the performance of companies on this topic. So, so eager to, to connect. So, so thanks again to Access Now for having me and allowing me to, to, to plug this project uh, and uh, looking forward to the discussion. Take care, everyone.